So making this video to kind of help out and raise a little bit of awareness to this really cool event that Tacky Fly Fishing is doing. And if you're unfamiliar with Tacky Fly Fishing, they're the maker of the uh, Tacky Fly Box. Really popular product on the market right now. So this event is to help out with children being treated at Primary Children's Hospital and their families. They're hosting a day on the water and they basically want uh, people to send them eight flies of one pattern. I'll put their little Facebook post in right here so you can kind of get the gist of what I'm talking about. So I think this is a really cool event and I'm going to do my part by sending eight flies down. I'm going to send the uh, Rainbow Warrior pattern down, uh, one of my favorite flies right now. I've been doing really good on it this winter and uh, just kind of asking you guys to help out a little bit, maybe get some more people involved. I'm also going to do a little fly tying video right now. Uh, I'm going to do the Rainbow Warrior patterns, just show you how it's tied. Some people ask me to do some fly tying videos and I like to start doing them again. So we're going to hop in, I'm going to show you how to tie the Rainbow Warrior. Okay, so to start off the Rainbow Warrior, we have a uh, size 14 scud pupil hook by Dairiki. You could tie it a bigger, smaller, however you want to do it. Uh, I got a gold bead on there. Let's take our red thread, start about mid shank, and then take it about right above the barb, cut it off. Okay, now we're going to take five or six pheasant tail fibers, and I like to roll them around on my fingers just to kind of get them going different directions. We're going to tie those in for the tail. Give a couple loose wraps and then you can kind of pull it to the length you want it. About as long as a shank. Now I'm going to tie those up right behind the bead. Just kind of build that body up a little bit. Cut them off. Okay, now we're going to take some pearl tinsel. This is a large size. I'm going to take about a three inch strand of it. We're going to tie it in behind the bead there. And we're going to tie it all the way back to the tail. I do that just to kind of build the body up a little bit. Okay, now we're going to make a little thread base on there because whenever you wrap this forward for the abdomen, you'll be able to want to see through it and see that red thread. That's why we use a bright thread color here. So we're just going to build it up a little bit, give it a little bit more of a profile. Okay, now we're going to put our thread right behind the bead and wrap this up. A couple wraps takes it right behind the bead. Okay, now we're going to tie it off right behind the bead, couple securing wraps, and now we're going to fold it back over the fly and wrap back over it to about mid shank. And that's going to be used as the wing case after we put some dubbing on. I like to use this uh, dark shade rainbow scud dub. Uh, this is also a good dubbing to use, a cinnamon color as well. Whatever you want to do, anything flashy will work. So we're going to take this dubbing, going to dub our thread. We're going to build up just a nice little ball of dubbing right behind the bead just to make a little uh, body out of it. Okay. It's got a nice little body on there. Give it a couple wraps behind the bead. Now we're going to fold over this pearl tinsel that we tied in earlier. We're gonna make a little wing case out of it. Tie it right behind the bead. Okay, now we're gonna kind of just trim it up a little bit. We can trim it up when we're done a little bit better. 
Give it a couple securing wraps. And now we're going to use our red thread and just make a little hot spot behind the bead. This is just an attractor nymph pattern, and I've been doing pretty good on it this winter. Tie it off. And that is a rainbow warrior. Trim it up a little bit. But yeah, really effective pattern. Definitely on stock trout, but I've caught a fair share of wild trout on it. Okay, so here are my eight flies I'll be sending down to the tacky fly fishing event for some kids and their families to be using. Got four with the uh, cinnamon dub and four with the rainbow dub. Hopefully they catch some fish on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It's definitely fun to be able to help out with an event like that. Uh, hopefully you guys get involved with it as well. I think it's really, really cool that they're doing something like that to give back. I also just reached 2,000 subscribers on my channel, which is just awesome. Cannot thank you guys enough for the support. And any new viewers out there, please subscribe. i got plenty of hunting and fishing, trapping videos. i got some more fly tying videos if you'd like to see that on my channel. And plenty more fly fishing videos and turkey hunting videos coming in the spring. Thank you guys for watching, and send your flies down to Tacky Fly Fishing to that really cool event.